First tonight, a former Narragansett High School student has filed a federal civil suit against several town and school officials. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Mike Montecalvo. The 2018 incident was captured on school surveillance system here, and the student's lawyer says the officer's actions violated his client's rights. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshudo has been working on the story all night and has the exclusive details new tonight. The lawsuit filed in federal court Wednesday is 22 pages long. The attorney for the former student says his client was thrown to the ground and choked by a school resource officer in what he says was an excessive response to an offensive hand gesture. What's so striking is you send kids to school for an education and you think it's a safe place. You don't think anything like this would ever happen. That police officer's there to protect these kids. Not to beat them up. Moments before this, attorney Amado DeLuca says his client, Michael Blanchett, a 17 year old high school senior at the time, was walking through the halls, troubling no one, when school resource officer patrolman Kyle Rooney began questioning whether or not Blanchett was allowed to be there. This surveillance footage was filed with the civil complaint. DeLuca says the eight minute video shows Blanchett was singled out, and that's one reason why they took it to court. Look at the entire video and watch it from the very beginning. You'll see students walking back and forth in the same corridor. For some reason, this police officer stops at this particular boy. According to court documents, the student has an individualized educational plan. DeLuca says Blanchett was allowed to be outside of class without a hall pass. The altercation escalates when Blanchett makes an offensive hand gesture towards the officer. You can see the officer take him down, then the pair struggles for several minutes. DeLuca says Blanchett was charged with misdemeanor crimes following this incident, but tells us those charges were eventually dropped. The lawsuit names several defendants, including the town of Narragansett, the police chief, the officer in the video, the superintendent, and the principal of the high school. The suit says the events caught on camera were unwarranted and caused both physical and mental pain to the student. Narragansett Superintendent Dr. Peter Cummings sent us a statement that says in part, we are not permitted by student privacy laws to discuss incidents involving students who are presently in or have graduated from the Narragansett schools because we are legally obligated to keep that information confidential. And we also reached the Narragansett town manager and the police chief. Both told us they could not comment. I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.